Welcome to the Quest Forums channel and in today's video I want to talk about a mistaken impression that Christians sometimes have and sometimes teach where they make it seem as though the life of faith, uh, the life of having relationship with God means a guarantee that you will get whatever you want. That if you have enough faith and ask hard enough then you can get a nice new car or house or that you can get a big promotion at work or have good relationships with friend and family and that all you have to do is believe enough. Now I want to be clear, I'm not saying that you can't ask for good things. These are blessings in this world and God does want us to give good things and he does give us good things. We should be grateful for them, we should be willing to request them. That's not so much the problem, the problem is when we put them first. The problem is when our faith depends on these things. That can get to be really unhealthy. And they're not what we should rely on. We should be relying on God rather than on the stuff that we get from Him. I think a passage that makes this point really well is Psalm 112. Because that passage talks about the blessings of the life of the righteous. And it talks about a lot of the things that we would still want today. And it talks about relational health. And it talks about wealth. And it talks about justice. But the main point of that passage is actually in verse 7. That verse says, The righteous person will not fear bad news. His heart is confident, trusting in the Lord. And so let's not bury the lead. The point there is that you're going to hear bad news. It's understanding that this world is a troubled place, that things have gone wrong here, and people don't sometimes like to really confront that idea. They especially don't like to admit where the problem comes from, and it comes from sin. It comes from the damage that we have done to our own existence. But at the very least, everyone does know that things do go wrong. Life is not always easy, and things are not the way that they're supposed to be. If we have an impression of faith, that says that coming to Christ means that everything's going to be good all the time, we're going to be incredibly disappointed because that's not the way it works. Bad things still happen one way or the other. And if your faith is dependent on bad things not happening, when they do, when things go wrong, it's going to shake you. Either you're going to think that you didn't have enough faith and you're going to work that much harder to please God when that's not what he's looking for to please him, or you're going to think that God has abandoned you. And your faith is going to be left in tatters. And that's not the life that we're supposed to live. That's not the life that God offers. What we should want is assurance, not stuff. And assurance comes from what God has done for us because he loves us. He sent his son to live as one of us. Jesus lived that life and lived it perfectly, but he was still murdered for it. But because he died, he was able to offer his life as a sacrifice. He was able to give it in payment for ours in order to be the substitution for us for our sins. And then after he had died, he rose to life again. And his resurrection was something witnessed by hundreds of people over the course of a month afterward. It's really an undisputable fact of history. And with his resurrection, he opened the way to eternal life for us. And that life is the promise that Christianity is about. It's not about the things in this world, whether they're good or bad. It's about knowing that we're loved by God that much, and that we will be with him forever. That's the source of our confidence. That's what everything is supposed to come down to. And I know it's not always easy to accept that. It's, it's, we want things to be fixed right away. We want things to be good all the time. Uh, that's what it feels like life is supposed to be, and so that's what we want. And to an extent, it is what life was supposed to be, but it's not. Sin has left it, so that's no longer the case. So it can be tough for Christians to accept this. It can also be tough for people who are not Christians to accept this because they want life to be easy too. And so they want things that offer that solution, that offer happiness. And so if we come along and tell them well, Christianity doesn't make life easy, they might say, why should I bother then? But I hope for anyone who's struggling either way that you can see deeper, that you can see the comfort that actually comes here, is that life doesn't have to be about the temporary. Because everything in the universe is temporary. It's all fading away. And you shouldn't make that the foundation of your existence because there's nothing there to count on. But what we do have to count on is the eternal God who holds the entire universe in his hands. That we don't have to be afraid of anything. We don't have to depend on anything in this world, good or bad, because we can depend on him. That conquers all fear. That's an incredible blessing. It's the thing that we need to hold on to ourselves. Just knowing that we're loved by God. Uh, knowing that we will live forever. 
knowing that nothing here matters in comparison to that. So I hope that this is an encouragement to that point, that it'll help you continue living the true life of faith. Or if you haven't before, that it'll encourage you to begin. If anyone has questions about the Bible, I'm more than happy to discuss them with you. Plenty of ways to reach out. You can leave a comment here. There are links to social media in the description. Or you can email me at ask at questforums.org. If you would, while you're here on YouTube, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the thumbs up, hit the like button. Because if you do that, that's one of the ways that YouTube keeps track of channels and it helps them to grow. The more people who do that, it recommends the channel to other people, so it would really help out. And if you're willing to go even a step further, you can donate to Quest Forums. There's a link to the Patreon page in the description here. And you can go there to see what you might be willing to give on a monthly basis or even a one-time basis. And anything you have to give would be of great help as I continue to seek the growth of this ministry. Thanks very much for checking out today's video, and until next time, keep looking up.